Hey guys, Steven here. Man, it is cold out today. And I actually had to fix this tire on the expedition. I need to go to my grandpa's house so I can get the jack. It was just so cold out here. That's my least favorite part. I have to do this in the cold. <sighs> now at least give y'all guys a cold start of the F-150. Even though I did drive it earlier today to get some breakfast at McDonald's. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start it anyway. Right, there's your startup. Now I'm off to get the jack and I need to get a, <clears throat> one of those, uh, those kind of guns that take out the lug nuts. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, I'm back home. So I couldn't find my, my um, drill gun for these lug nuts. So I'm gonna have to do that manually. And I also got the jack in the back of my truck. Let's see if I can see without showing my license plate. Oh. Alright, had to come inside really quick. It was it's pretty cold out there. While my body was warm, my hands were freezing. I got Spock here too. Aw, thanks Spock. Well, we, get, we did get the tire off. I meant to film that, but just couldn't find something to prop the phone on. Is that right, Spock? Is that right, Spock? But yeah, I'm gonna warm up and then we're gonna try to plug the tire ourselves. All right, we're back outside. Like I said, we got the tire off. It's all the lug nuts. Jack, which is, I feel like it could slip off and the car could come down. But I think that's our problem right there. Looking around the tire, I don't see anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it all the way to the film. And Hopefully get it patched and we can reuse it. Alright, so we got this leak plugged up. But my dad says there's another leak somewhere else on the tire. But I'm just not really sure where it is. So just stand by. Also, if you haven't seen the previous video based about the Crown Vic, I actually got it started up and moved from where it was on the street to right in front of the Acura. <sighs> it took forever to move that, remove that last battery because it was all rusted through. Well, not the battery, but the little hookups were. Right now I don't have, have the key to start it and there's not even a battery in it either because I took it out to put it back in the garage. But at least this thing can be moved if it needs to. All I have to do is hook up the battery. <sighs> and my mom also got a new car. That's her old car right there. Not sure when I'll reveal it on the channel. She got a new Honda CRV. It's not here right now. She's obviously at work. But yeah, I guess we'll just get right back into the video. I was about to get out, but then I remembered. Just while I'm sitting in this car, it makes me realize how much I actually miss driving it. It's fun to drive. It's actually my my backup vehicle, because the F-150 is my daily. Even though my backup vehicle doesn't even run. <sighs> One day when I'm living in my own house, 
we'll get another one of these Crown Vicks. And there, there's also a project I want to do, a Ford F100 project. I'll kind of get into it later on in the future. We might actually use a Crown Vic frame for that. But we'll just get into that later on down the road. Alright guys, I got the tire in the back. Gonna have to go to our nearby tire repair shop and get it fixed. There's another spot we kind of fixed is now leaking. So I'm just gonna have them get it patched. For us. <sighs> then, once it's all patched, we'll get it back on the expedition. Alright, here's another update. I just went by the tire place. They said they can't really do anything about one of the areas that's leaking. Also, if y'all didn't know where, I'm, where I am, I'm actually filming at my parents' old house, which we're about to be running out. Because my cousin just got married, and he's going to be living here. Even though I'm just filming with this background. I'm not going to show y'all the guy's house. But anyways, they just, they offered me a brand new tire or a used tire. And I, so I called my dad, because the expedition is his. He said he'd just bring the tire back. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna be putting it back. <laughs> Anyways, I had to run down here just to check on something. Now I'm gonna go back home and get that tire back on. All right guys, we got the tire back home. Now I'm gonna jack up the expedition a little bit more. Hopefully I can do it safely. We, I mean, but we should be good, even though I kind of fear that'll slip and damage the car. I'm gonna, anyways, I'm gonna grab one of these bricks and make it to where y'all guys can see what I'm doing. Then I can get this thing back on. And I'm even gonna show you how I get the tire on. That didn't sound good. Anyways, now I'm gonna see if I can get this tire back on without having to go any higher or lower. Yep, I'm gonna have to jack it up some more. Mm. Oh. See if this will work. Nope. I have to do a little bit more. 
I'm kind of afraid of this thing. It might slip off. That's that's what I'm worried about. Should be good. Ugh. Of course, I'm gonna have to keep going. But at the same time, I do not want to keep going. Mainly because this thing is like towards the edge, which kind of scares me a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack some of this up on, well off camera, not on camera, cause we're currently on camera anyways. And I'll pick up when I'm about to put the tire back on. All right, we're back. Raised it up a little bit more. And I even tried fitting it off the tire off camera and it's it fits so now I can show y'all guys how I normally do it all right I always make sure my my holes in the wheel is aligned with the little things sticking out. And then I get on my on the ground, put my feet underneath the tire and use them to lift it up. Just like that, the tire is on. Oh. And then uh, grab y'all. And then I'm going to start them. Not tighten them all the way, but start them. Be sure you're skipping. So after this one, you do that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. It's so cold out. I'm just ready to go back inside. These are not like winter gloves. All right, stand by. I'm gonna get this tightened up with that. Then I'm gonna put my gloves on because my hands are really cold. All right, so what we ended up doing with is we actually replaced the leaking tire with the spare tire. So yeah, for now we're just gonna have to do with the spare. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Hope all of y'all enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe, be sure to thumbs up this video, thumbs up any of my videos, get your friends to watch my channel, get them to subscribe. I do not know what the next video will be about, or when it'll be. I do kind of think it'll be about the F-150, but you never know, we'll just see. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one.